So this year, guys, I made the switch to Cat 2, which means I had to go from racing the regular amateur races to racing UCI if I was in like the Vittoria series or any of those larger races. Um, so what that meant was bike had to be totally UCI legal, which wasn't a big problem except tire size. I ran into this issue and I was at a couple races where some of the kids next to me ran into the same issues. Um, 33 millimeter tires, they have to measure 33 millimeter. They put a little plastic thing over your tire before you go into the starting grid and if it's tight, they kind of gripe about it. If it doesn't fit or they can't pull it off easy, you're out. You know, no racing for you that day. So. I was racing um, Clement and the MXPs were pretty much my go-to's. Mounted too wide on any modern rim basically. Um, if you're running like a zip anything new, um, had our den. Uh, I have a pair of these hologram SLs from Cannondale, they're 19 mil wide. Um, same kind of thing as my Ardennes, 19 mil wide. They mount too wide. Even though they're a 33C tire, they blow up to about 35. Um, and that's with a, a pretty low amount of air pressure. Um, and then I had PDXs mounted on the front. Forget it, those were like 36 millimeters when I blew them up. So I said, what's gonna be good? Um, I gotta try something different. I gotta find something a little more narrow. So Vittoria actually offers their new line of tires in 31 millimeter. So they do all of their tires. The, they do three of them. They do the, the wet, the dry, and a mixed in 31 millimeter and 33 millimeter. I want the 31s to be safe. Um, the 31s mounted on a 19 millimeter rim or wider blow up to just a hair under 33 millimeter. The gauge goes on and off, no problem. I run into no issues with the UCI, it's awesome. And the tires are freaking great. Um, I was thoroughly impressed with the performance of them. They're re really grippy a great profile um most of the year i used either the wet or the dry which is um it's sort of a file tread so this one's the dry it's like a snake skin pattern I don't know how well you can see it. So it's like a snake skin pattern and then little side knobs. It's a really, really fast rolling tire. Nice rounded profile though. Um, cornering on grass is great with it. It's decent hookup on off camber sections on slippery stuff. Um, I rode it on some races that were fairly wet still, um, but starting to dry out and it, it hooked up it hooked up really, really, really well. Um, I really like the tire a lot. The other one that I did a lot of racing with was the wet, so which is their mud tire. So kind of a very open pattern, squared knobs. Once again, though, it had a nice rounded profile to it. Um, so the cornering on the mud tire, it, it, it's really nice. Um, it rolls along pretty well still. And then the other is the mixed. So kind of your classic chevron V-shaped tread pattern. Slightly open, but still closed enough that it rolls fast. Um, and it's actually really decent in the wet stuff. So. There's two different types of mud. You got tacky dry mud or drying mud, which sucks, it sticks to everything, and that is where your true mud tires come in. And then you have 
the really wet, sloppy, just soup. So if it's raining or just rained and rained a lot, that mud has so much moisture in it. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna come out of your tread pattern. So that's what I was running during the last race um, that I did in, uh, what the hell one was it? Uh, NBX in Warwick. So super wet day, it rained all day long. It stopped raining when we were lining up at the start line and the course had like hub deep standing water on it. It is fairly sandy there, so it does drain, but there was a lot of slick stuff and just soupy mud. But I ran the mixed, mixed it great in it. When we hit the, the harder sandy sections, hooked up really well you can corner great on it and still roll along pretty fast on on any of the pavement sections even though they're short but it, it was a great all-around tire um i haven't done a lot of racing on grass courses with it so i'll see how that works next year um i just like using the the dry on any sort of grass course but yeah vittoria can't go wrong um they do them in tubeless and tubular I was running the tubeless all year without sealant, so that way when I had to change tires, I didn't have to deal with a big goopy mess. Um, they mount up great, mount up perfect. Uh, they hold the, the bead really well. I burped once, and that's because I sent it over a railroad track and landed sideways. <laughs> so, totally my fault. But no cornering issues with burping or anything like that mounted on my heads. Um, and even mounted on the, the Cannondale, the hologram wheels, um, which is a stands, no tube, license rim bed. So no issues on that, obviously, since their bead lock technology is, is exceptional. But yeah, Victoria tires, give them a shot. They're great. They're awesome. I like them.